Joining me now, host of Takedown with Chris Hansen, Chris Hansen. So now we have two people come out saying that Diddy was talking to the feds. Do you think that's true? Whether it's true or not, and he might have been cooperative in some way, shape, or form, you don't get away with human trafficking unless you give up John Gotti or something like that, and that's not what happened here. I can tell you, Jesse, this, that this investigation's been going on for a long time, very closely held by HSI, so much so that even some of the agents on the raid a week ago today didn't know whose house they were raiding until they got there. That's how closely held this wow, investigation. Wow, because there could have been a tip. Absolutely. And there are allegations that he was paying law enforcement through his chief of security, which also happened to be Michael Jackson's chief of security. I don't know if I buy into that. You know, people in Diddy's situation like to have those involved in law enforcement close to them. But that doesn't mean they're taking payoffs. That doesn't mean they're doing big favors. They like that closeness. It's just like how Diddy was able to court Diageo or Estee Lauder. He was very successful in doing that, and that made him a lot of money and gave him credibility outside the hip-hop rap world. And that's what he was trying to do here, a lot like what Epstein did with very powerful political and business. And if you look at this report in the New York Post, you see it's a constellation oh, of billionaires he's involved Very with. similar to what Epstein was doing. And, you know, these guys get drunk with power, allegedly. You know, Diddy has said that these allegations are false, but they get drunk with power, and all of a sudden they lose their, their balance and what's right and what's wrong. And they're insulated and they've got everybody telling them they're great. And all of a sudden these civil suits come out and the feds watch this. That's what happened with R. Kelly. It started with civil suits, then HSI got involved, and, and they're the lead agency for Yeah, it's, these civil suits are just like a silver platter for the feds very helpful, to very helpful. take these. War on the streets, so 50 Cent made this post after the news broke out that Diddy's ex, Cast, was really cooperating with the federal investigators to make sure they take down Diddy. Now, you all know the situation right here, man. So 50 went under the caption and said, oh yeah, it's not looking good for Diddler. LOL. Now, this was crazy, man. And he's not really looking good according to what 50 Cent just said, right? Because think about this. Cassie has been settled in a way where she filed a loss against Diddy. Now, Cassie is coming back to say that she's ready and she's already cooperating with the federal investigators. Now, this is crazy. In my own understanding, I was like, you know, is this really necessary because she's been settled to never have anything to do with the situation or any type of case or stuff like that but you already know how crazy that the law can be right now diddy is also cooperating with the federal investigators against himself i mean it's like diddy is already snitching right he's snitching on himself or whatever information that he has that he needed to trade with the feds to actually get out of this situation. Now, Cassie is also coming against him, cooperating with federal investigators. Now, the things are not really looking good for Diddy because it looks like at the end of the day, man, Cassie just want to see him go to jail or stuff like that. I don't know what it is, man. But so many people are still saying that, you know, this has nothing to do with Diddy, that the industry are just trying to take him down or stuff like that. But whatever that happens, we are still going to be alive to actually witness what is really going to come out of this whole craziness. Because for me at this point, bro, Cassie is doing all she can. Trust me, Cassie and her lawyer, they are doing the most, bro. Remember that. I mean, she still have that pen. Now, the rumors was Diddy actually paid her $30 million. But trust me, if that happens to be true, $30 million, I think, it's not enough to fill that gap that she has in her heart because you know before she filed a lawsuit against Didi who happens to be her ex you know there is something that she already has inside of her that she want to let out so even the money cannot stop her because you know you don't feel satisfied man with money when you have something going on inside of you that is worth more than money I mean, she needed to see justice or whatever. If Diddy actually did anything that she's accusing him of, I don't know. But we are going to find out at the end of the day. But remember, this video is for entertainment and educational purposes, so everything is allegedly.